We're always looking for the great. Because, yeah, good is, is, is lovely. But great? I'm trying to be like Tony the Tiger out here. Yeah. That coffee's not good. It's great. <laughs> In all aspects of my life, yep. if you come to me with good, listen, that shit's for the birds. Good should be standard. It should be stock. Absolutely. I'm paying for great. And if I don't get great, I'm just getting fucking good. You're going to get ranted on on our podcast, okay? Yeah. And, and. Get your shit together, And Starbucks. Cousin Nunzio is going to show up. Bro, you don't want. With the fucking sledgehammer. You don't want Cousin and, Nunzio. And if Tony comes through with the meat cleaver. Oh my. You know, it's going to be great how fast your leg gets chopped <laughs> off. All right, another Sunday, another podcast episode. It's Vinny, it's Phil. I lint rolled my hat, and that's honestly all I have to bring to the table today. You know what I brought to the table? Some 7-Eleven cafe. Bro, it's been a while since I've had 7-Eleven cafe. How is 7-Eleven coffee? Listen, they're pretty good. Yeah? In terms of a tier list, I'd put them A tier. So, not quite S, yeah. but they're still banging you know like a biscuit. You know what? B tier. B t- Okay, let's so you're going to drop them a little bit. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Define the taste to us, Phil. You see, here's the thing about 7-Eleven coffee that makes it better than other coffee places. Mm -hmm. They are constantly rotating their beans, their brews. There is always a fresh pot at 7-Eleven. That's clearly a power play. Listen, it's one of the biggest power plays because, you know, say you go down to your local bodega Mm. and they got some stinky beans brewing all day long. That's a problem. You don't want that. Ruins the consistency of the coffee. At any time, you could walk into 7-Eleven, get a fresh cup. That's interesting. I do like the design of their cup as well. Yeah, they're clean. I also like the design of the skull ring. I took Phil's ring today. I'm feeling demonic today. You yeah, you know? like that? I'm feeling the energy. What is this? Sunday Sauce episode 96? 96. Is it? Four episodes away. Is it really 96? I thought we were at 97, but maybe, maybe this shit. is 96. Let's pull up the internet. It's all a fucking blur. It really is all a blur. It's because we have such great conversations. It's it. It's 96. Look at that. Because last week was the Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley. You know what we should do? We should have a counter on the table. Just 96. That's a good you, idea. You flip a little post-it note. Or a digital one. Yeah. That just every time a new episode goes, <laughs> it'll like make that. that cool sound effect. So you're feeling demonic. Feeling a little crazy today. Speaking of demons, you hear Corpse's new song? I did not. Is it good? It's pretty fucking good. Is it like one of those? Yeah. Yeah, I'll play a little bit up. Yeah, play a little snippy. So do you know Knight Lavelle? No. Please enlighten me about all these things today. I want you to teach me a lot of things on today's episode of The Songs. Okay, so the name of this song is Hot Demon Bitches Near You. Oh, lovely. Yeah. It's got the typical corpse vocals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that type shit, right? And then there's Knight Lavelle, Mm. who's a pretty established rapper. Okay. and, And, you know, corpse has like the hook, I think you call it, or the chorus. Yes, of course. It's pretty fucking solid. Here we Let's go. Hear it. Here we go. Give me like right in the middle of the song. Give okay. me like give me like ten seconds right in the middle. Ten seconds in. Ten seconds in. Or ten seconds at a random point in the song. Okay. Can you find the song, Phil? Yeah, I got you. You got it, buddy. Posted one day ago. It's got a million views already. Nice. Right? Views are good. Views are up. So this- okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's All right. Pause it now so we don't get claimed. Ooh, that's. <laughs> That's that's broken. Yeah. Pull up to the flat. Exactly. Pull up to the flat. That's how I feel today. <laughs> pull up to the podcast. Pull up to the podcast. Yeah, so I guess the theme around Corpse is he always puts like Who's that? Who's the girl on the exactly. cover? Exactly. It's a hot demon bitch. So we don't know who this demon woman is. Well, he's, I will not call her a he's bitch. He's calling though. it a hot demon bitch. He's he's referring to her as hot demon B word. <laughs> yeah. I won't do it. Hot demon woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Cause you know what? Here in the Sunday sauce, respect women Listen, and we respect men we respect everybody if you're a demon girl you got to sit at our table if you're a demon guy got to sit at our table you know pull up with your little plate filled with what do demons eat you know flesh and uh fucking dip some of the flesh in the sauce yeah so as i was saying one of his trademark things is that like on all of his songs not all of his songs but some of his songs he puts like this ilk of person i don't know how to describe it ilk of per what the fuck does that mean phil bro Okay, so first we're going to define ilk. Okay. Yeah, please do, because I have no idea what that means. A type of people or things similar to those already being referred to, right? So when I said ilk Fuck. of people, right, and I pointed to this album cover. So a type of person, i.e. demon girl. Yeah. Okay. So like he has one song where it's like, cat girls are ruining my life. Mm, and there's a cat girl on the cover. Exactly. And then you got like the demon moose. There's exactly. a moose on the cover. You got it. Ah, okay. The different ilk. Yep. 
we're we're quite fancy ilks, if I do say so myself. We got the short, funny ilk, the tall, funny ilk. Yeah, so like this is, you know, that's the cat girl. Okay. I like her cat ears. Very cool. And then e-girls are ruining my life. You got Emma Langevin. You know I don't know how to say her last name, but I do think her first name is Emma. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I've seen her on TikTok a bunch. Absolutely. You know what? Send me those photos. We're going to we're going to show the audience. <laughs> okay. Going to show the audience the different ilks, if you will. Yeah, you got your cat girls, your e-girls and your demon girls. Mm. So you're a demon guy today? I'm definitely a demon guy today. I think I'm a cat guy today. What does that mean? You just want to like hang out on Catterday, meow, meow, lick your fur, lick your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you ever lick your asshole? Would you lick your asshole if you could lick your asshole? My Can own you lick asshole? Your asshole? No. No? No. You'd lick other assholes. Depends. I feel if you. If they're on clean, that. if they're bidet. If they smell like roses and peaches. Yeah. Dude, I had a peach the other day. Now nah, we have to have a whole segment about this, dude. Was it a Georgia peach? It was the most ripe peach I've ever had. And you know what? I didn't just bite into the, the succulent juiciness of it. I sliced it with a knife. Unbelievable. I like to bite into a peach and then it oozes out the juice and I go. And then you go. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah. You bite and shit, right? And you, you just bark. wonky it. Wonky slush it. What's the barking trend recently? Is that a thing? I think so. I just bark because I'm half dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Woo. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. My great, great grandfather was actually uh, a pit bull and his father was a Rottweiler. Was he bald? He was bald. Yeah. Was he Mr. Worldwide? Yeah. Woo. Hell yeah. Yo, Pipple's got bangers. Yo, speaking of bangers, Certified Lover Boy dropped and apparently took over every chart. iTunes, Let's Spotify. It's the, it's the biggest debut for the most streams from one album ever on Spotify or some serious? shit. And the last record was Drake for Scorpion. Okay. It's my Scorpion. Did you impression. listen to it yet? I did not. I heard like one song with Jay-Z and Jay-Z was spazzing. Sick eh, verse. Eh. I listened to it. The whole thing. Dude, the whole thing. Whole thing. All right, so you are going to review it since I, bro, I'm slacking. I haven't listened to Donda in nope. full. I haven't listened to Certified Lover Boy CLB. Yep. Which is better? Let's start there. I'm gonna say Donda. Whoa. Okay. Give okay, us, okay. give us the facts. Okay. Lay it out for us. Champagne poetry first track. Eh. Eh. Okay. It's not a strong a, eh. start. No. Poppy's home. Not, not, not the greatest. So. Two of the tracks, you know, opening tracks. Okay. Not my couple. Not good momentum. You see, I like fast paced rap. I like a little bit more upbeat. I like a little bit more like angst to it. So you don't like the, I hope no one heard that. Yeah. I hope no one heard that. I hate that shit. Because if they did, we gonna be in some trouble. That's Mm -hmm. Drake though. That's always Drake. Okay. Fair enough. Girls Want Girls featuring Little Baby. How's that one? It's good, except for one bar. One bar ruined it for you? Yeah. What's the bar? I'm pretty sure I ruined it for everybody. <laughs> What's the bar? <laughs> it's, girl told me she a lesbian. I said, me too. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll play it. Well, I guess he's insinuating that he also likes girls, right? Yeah, That's the but, whole premise. Yeah. But he's also calling himself a lesbian. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, Drake. I, I saw this funny tweet to describe this album as a whole. All right, ready? Let's hear it. Reviewing Phil came prepared today. This is by Cloud Goblin. Okay. <laughs> listen, Love that name. listen to more of Certified Lover Boy. Nothing on it is awful or even bad. It just feels like 15 mg of SSRIs. It feels like going to Albon Payne. I felt nothing. You know Albon Payne? No. Why do we not know anything oh you're talking about God. today? Am I just uncultured? Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. I not left the house in a couple yeah, days? You haven't. The fuck's going on? It's it's like a typical like coffee place in the city that's just like very mediocre so he's just saying it's mediocre mediocre yeah you just feel like nothing when you listen to it interesting okay keep going on the track list you're doing great so so far you've only liked one of the songs but a certain bar ruined it for you yep okay what are we at track four now yeah in the bible little dirk and giveon it was okay all right like 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 i'm saying you don't really you don't really like none fall of these resonate the fully. Yeah. so why why the hype about the album then if you're he's saying drake man I get that he's Drake, man. But man, still, he's fucking Drake. Dude. I know he's fucking Drake. <laughs> OVO boys Drake. running through the six with my woes. Yeah, I get it. That well, song's sick. I yeah. love that song. Listen, Drake has some slappers. Some. He's got a lot of. Slappers. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. Yeah, okay. Love all featuring Jay Z. It was good. I did listen to that one. It was good. It was good. Fair trade. My favorite song on the album. Okay. Featuring Travis Scott. Okay. That's a 10 yeah, you texted me said, listen to Fair Trade. That's a 10 out of 10 slapper for me. Nice. Okay. The beat is fucking sick. Nice. The bars are dirty. Excellent. 
The feature is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just an all around good song. Very good. Way too sexy featuring Future and Young Thug. Crazy. Holy shit, boys. If you haven't listened to this song, boys, <laughs> listen to it. Come back to this podcast and comment your thoughts because it is either the most whack shit you've ever heard in your life or it's like low key good, but I can't put my finger on it. This seems like a very polarizing album. Here's what we're going to do I'm going to give myself some homework. By Wednesday for the member episode, I am going to listen to this and Donda, and I will tell you which is better in my opinion, and I'll go through the songs as well. Okay. All right. So this song is already out on Vivo. Okay. Drake posted it. Drake featuring Future and Young Thug, Way Too Sexy, official music video. Okay. It was posted yesterday. It's got 6 million views. Jesus, man. Can I play a snippet or are we going to get claimed up the ass? We probably will get claimed, but you could play like a little bit of it. Just okay, give ready? me like, give me the general feel. General feel. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. So it's I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy, but exactly. they're remixing it a little bit, giving a little di bit of a of a remix. Yeah, it just difference. doesn't doesn't really work. I feel like I would like that one. Okay. I also thought the animation was pretty cool in the music video. But we'll see. You know, I got I gotta really give it uh my in-depth. It's just fucking cringy too, because he has a song like TSU, like Texas State University, talking about like college girls. Then he has a song called Fucking Fans. <laughs> Like, it's just, it's just <laughs> in too deep. There's one of them where he talks about, like, this girl on a pole, like, she's a stripper, and that, like, you know, she's got a business plan, but she doesn't have time to, like, write it down and execute it, but he gives so much money to these girls and, like, wants to see their dreams come through true. Wow, what a saint. Yeah, you know? Unbelievable. <laughs> Drake, you know what? Make the dreams come it's true, It's so baby. fucking cringy. I, I'm He's excited. a corn ball. He's a corn dog. I am excited to hear it now. And, like... He's calling himself a lover boy. He's a full ass grown 34 year old man. Okay. Listen, he's a fucking certified lover boy, bro. Oh, he's, he's cringy. <laughs> so your favorite song, if you had to pick one would be the Travis Scott one. Yeah. Are you a big Travis Scott fan? I wouldn't say big fan, but I like, what's him. the song. that's like, Travis Scott. Hold on. I'll tell you right now what it is. Hold on a second. I'm a runner, son of a man. Jack Park Canny Dope Man. What? This one. I've never heard this one. Yeah. <laughs> that it's that one. That one is is. I don't. So I don't sad. like the ad libs. You don't like the ad libs? No. I mean, listen, I can do that. The ad libs too. The best ad libber is Ti, and all his songs in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like all that shit, I get hyped. They're like a verse of their own. Yeah. Sick. Listen, when they're done right, they're great. I love ad libbing on my songs. They it makes see with a good ad lib, it's the difference between a good song and a great song. Okay, you know, it's you a just, little cumin, little fucking cumin, little spice on that bitch, dude. What are we like a music podcast these days? Two I, schmucks from Long Island. Well, you know, we already got Island? one of our uh, one of our title points: Donda do or Certified Lover Boy? That's question it. mark. Kanye versus Drake. Oh, oh, and then in the thumbnail, we could have Kanye and Drake. Whoa. Head to head. Bring in the views, sick, baby. Dude. By the way, we got uh, Manscaped talking points for this month, same wow. as last month. And I believe Raycon. We don't do Raycon on the podcast, but we got to get them on the podcast. Same talking points as last month. Nice. So what do you got going on today? You know. It's always my favorite podcast question because you know what? It's not about pop culture. It's not about Drake or Kanye. It's Vinny and Phil. It's Vinny. It's the Vinny and Phil show at That's the end it. of the day. Tell me what's going on in your life, champ. Yesterday, I went to the outlets, did a little shopping. Noise. Was an, you know, I love this weather. It's almost as if Mother Nature woke up September 1st. was like, okay, let's cool it off by about 10 degrees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you been outside recently? I have. It's nice. The other night was perfect sweatshirt weather. Exactly. You know, you throw on a sweatshirt, and then if it gets too hot, you take it off. Then you get a little chilly, you put that bitch back this on. This summer was just not it for me. It was a really lackluster, shitty it was, summer. It was a short summer. That's number one. Number two, it was definitely lackluster. I'm looking forward to the pumpkin spice season. Exactly. See, this is why I got 7-Eleven coffee. Is that pumpkin spice? pumpkin spice in here. Yes. A little fucking cumin. I'm pretty sure it was the official Starbucks count. Maybe it was a parody, but they said pumpkin spice has entered the chat. And I nice. was like, clever. Way to, way to market to the gamers. They love that. Okay, you know how I always rant to you about coffee and the price and the taste and the quality? Of course, I'm you're a, a very intense coffee connoisseur. Absolutely. Yesterday at the fucking outlets, right? Mm -hmm. I started getting a wicked caffeine headache. Wicked caffeine pounding. headache. My eyeballs felt like 
they were being squeezed by King Kong. It's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. It would be really cranky. hard for him to squeeze your eyeballs, by the way. He's got such big fingers. Yeah. Your whole head would get squeezed. It's like, it's like trying to squeeze the egg with your thumbs. You ever mm, see that? Yeah. I can do that, by the way. You can crack it? I'm so broken. It's uh, it's ridiculous. At we'll this get point. into that. Absolutely. So we go to Starbucks, right? Okay. Typical Starbucks. They're like, hey, we don't got we don't got any cold brew. I'm like, okay, so I'll get an iced Americano. Mm. Girl comes by with fresh cold brew, nitro infused. You ever see that? That's where you see the dark and the light, right? Yeah, and then they a, mix together. It's like a draft, like a yeah, beer draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get one of those. Guess guess how much that is for two nitro cold brews. Two of them? Yeah. One for me, one for my girlfriend. $13. $14. I was close. $14. $7 a coffee? Sheesh. Plus, plus you know, tax. Of course. 8.625%. Yeah. New York State. We're getting murdered out here in New York. Absolutely. Unbelievable. We're getting fucking so demolished out in New York. For $15.12, we had little pussy ass coffees. It was good. It hit the spot. But was it great? No. That's the problem. That's See, the me problem. and you were always looking for the great. Yeah. Because, yeah, good is, is, is lovely. But great. I'm trying to be like Tony the Tiger out here. Yeah. That coffee's not good. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how I feel. I'm not joking. In all aspects of my life, yep. if you come to me with good, listen, that shit's for the birds. Good should be standard. It should be stock. Absolutely. I'm paying for great. And if I don't get great, I'm just getting fucking good. You're going to get ranted on on our podcast, okay? Yeah, and, and. Get your shit together, And Starbucks. Cousin Nunzio is going to show up. Bro, you don't want. With the fucking sledgehammer. You don't want Cousin and, Nunzio. And if Tony comes through with the meat cleaver. Oh my. You know it's going to be great how fast your leg gets chopped off. <laughs> Don't make me fucking tell you uh, twice. Because if I tell you three times. You ever see the video of the guy slapping himself? Yeah, yeah. One of the funniest things yeah, you've ever seen. Let's pull it up. One of the funniest things you'll ever see in your life. Guy slapping himself. That's guy, called, isn't that like ham hock or something? Ham bone. Yeah, yeah, this guy. All right, you know what? We're just going to play this entire clip and react to it. Okay. Let's go. Let it rock. Do let's, you want the minute version or the three minute version? Minute version will, will suffice. Okay. Let's do it. Ham bone. Bring it on, Phil. Let's try not to laugh. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, Yo, like, here's the thing. It I is, busted. I busted. It is impressive, but it's also so... Ridiculous. Yeah. But this is great. 100%. <laughs> Bro, look at this man. <laughs> this is the edited yeah, version. The edited version. <laughs> yeah, this shit's dummy OP. No, that part right there. See, you can't edit that. That's just real. Can you do that? <laughs> is that step that has to be step up? There's no way. No, there's no way he moves that quickly. This guy's 86 years old. Holy fuck. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh. That was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. If you guys have never seen that video, first of all, you're welcome. That was extraordinary. Oh, my fucking God. Dude, he was like. He's doing full, around the world? Full on octopus. Around the world. See, I could. I remember there was like an elementary school Fucking teacher. Doc Ock over here. He used to do. Some shit like that. Yeah. You know, and then he used to do like the, how do you? I like the fart in there. He used to like <laughs> do this and then he would go so fast and start clapping. Oh, the clapping. I can't do it. I almost just pulled out my elbow. Yo, I got a bad left elbow. What's going Anytime on? Anytime I do overhead press with dumbbells, doesn't matter how much I warm up, severe pain right mm. here in this, in this joint. Mm. But I notice when I go here, no pain. You got tennis elbow, little golfer's elbow. Ha! Painter's elbow. Ha! <laughs> You like that? Do I like the moaning or the tennis? The I elbow. like it all. <laughs> Yo, I would freak everybody out. I'd be like, <laughs> like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Do you think it's an increase in performance when you moan like that in tennis? Oh, fuck yeah. I feel like, Shit. I feel like it does help. Right there. Because you know when you're working oh my out? God. <laughs> when you're working out? I'm going to come. <laughs> never heard that during a tennis match. You no, know, never. No, never. Dude, heard. Roger Federer is always out there. He's like, oh, fuck yeah. Never heard I'm going right to come. Right there. Have you ever heard, Have you, I know we're playing a lot of clips today, but have you ever heard Stewie threaten the tennis? 
Mm -hmm. You gotta watch. This is the funniest thing ever. (laughs) Stewie threatens tennis. I'm just gonna type that in. All right. So this is called Stewie swearing at a tennis game. I want this. I hope this is the uncensored version. This is one of the funniest things you'll ever see in your life. Okay. All right. This will be like another try not to laugh. Fuck it. This is the try not to laugh episode. All right. You ready for this? Yep. Here we go. All right, Brian, we win this set. The tournament's ours. Yeah, come on, let's do this. I can already see our names in the newsletter right below the deaths from the previous quarter. (laughs) Out. What? (laughs) Your ball was long. Are you shitting me? That thing was in. You're going to penalize us because you're a blind fucking blue jacket piece of shit. Stewie, calm down. I will drop you to your knees and shove my racket so far down your throat you'll be shitting my grip for a week. Warning, <laughs> Mr. Griffin. My grip. Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you. I'm going to go to your house and fuck your wife. <laughs> you proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard? Your kids look up to you? Big man <laughs> throwing out a baby and a dog. What, what Tough got guy. You, the fuck your wife Maybe I'll part? see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. Dude, Seth MacFarlane is one of the funniest humans on planet Earth, and I will, I will always, literally always feel that way. The, the dude is a genius. But then there's a lot of people that are like, Family Guy's for 12-year-olds. Who the fuck likes Family Guy? Bro, I love Family Guy. It's funny. It, it's, it's so funny. I feel like it always will be funny, too. Fantastic. Fantastic, absolutely. I do like the, uh, the addition of the clips, you know? Yeah. Kind of a pain in the ass to write it all down. This is why we need the intern. You know how many clips we'd play if we had fucking Jimmy Johnson sitting there just... Bro, we'd be getting our money up, worth. Racking up all the clips. Yeah. Forget about it. We need Chrissy Clips. Should we hire... Beep, beep, beep. We might have to hire... Yo, Chris, you're not out there saving the world. Yeah. How about you come over here and fucking write down our clips? He might be into it. He would do it for free. He probably... He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Christopher. Beep, beep. Speaking of e baby. Yo, guess, let's, let's hear it. Guess what happened this weekend? Not this weekend. What, what day is it? I don't even fucking Today know. Today is Saturday. Today is the weekend. Okay. So guess what happened uh, Thursday night? Thursday night. Do I know what happened Thursday night? No. What happened Thursday night? Give me multiple choice. Okay, ready? <sighs> Dig deep. I went to a nightclub. Excuse me? I went to Monarch. Hold on. <laughs> First of all, I'm not going to say where the fuck was my invite. I went to... But where the fuck was my invite, Phil? <laughs> you see, I'm just going to tell you, I went to Monarch. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You what you just said. Hold on. Grandpa, Grampy Phil went to Monarch? I visited and didn't, the old stomping grounds. And didn't invite his butt? That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. How was it? Not the same. Well, I mean, I wasn't there, so no exactly. shit, it wasn't the same. This is this is the vibes, ready? Picture this. It's Thursday night. Thursday night. Old couples taking their hot young things out for mm-hmm. a nice night out. Mm. The sugar grandpas. Exactly. <clears throat> okay, keep going. The rooftop portion of this place had a greenhouse effect on it because it's still the pandemic. <laughs> Go on. And it was probably about... Quarter capacity. So it was just you, I would assume, Willie, a couple friends, and then old people. Yep. And some fucking plants. Yep. Sounds like a sick night to me. You know, it, it is more your vibe, because when we went, it was like... Mm, 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 boots, 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 boots. See, I prefer the chill vibes yeah, of like, let's have a conversation. That's that's what it was. There's a certain amount, though, of tequila shots where I just start going, where are my fucking dancing shoes? And then I start clapping. Right. Like that guy. The hand bone. Going into it. Getting ready. Around the world. Ready for it, baby. So you say, it was? would you say the night is a bust? Was no, it, a bust? it was just a great night because it was my friend's birthday. Beautiful. So we started there and then we went to another bar, had some New York pizza, nice. went home. What time were you in? I got home at 2 a.m. Easy. For a city night, that's early. That's, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm proud of you. You know what? There's a good balance between never going out ever again and just pushing your grandkids on a swing. Yep. And going out, getting home before 3 a.m. Exactly. And then you're rested and you're well good for tomorrow. You see, when me and you used to go out, <laughs> Sheesh. my mom would be leaving to go to work at 5.45 a.m. stumbling in. Yeah. Those are some good times. Smelling like an absolute tuna fish. 
Listen, you sometimes need to let loose and live life the way life was intended to be lived. You go out there, you go through your party phase. I'm over it. Yeah. I'm done. You're over it? I'm over it. You're over it. Bro, I've been over it that. for years. Like, listen, I'll go to a pub or a bar. You're I'll a have, pub guy. I'll have a drink with the townies. Yep. Oh, Billy One Tooth. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Vinny? <laughs> I'll say what's up to Billy One Tooth. But hey, listen, Johnny Longcock, how you doing? When you start going, holy yeah, shit. When you start going, you want to go to Monarch in the middle of a Thursday. <laughs> yep. I'll sit that one out. I would have came if I was asked. You know? Listen, it was a birthday party. It was close knit. Listen, you know I give the best presents. I know. I would say, whose birthday is it? Oh, him? I got it. Yeah. Pull up with the fucking sick presents. It's okay. Don't worry. I was busy Thursday. Yeah. What did I do Thursday? I had therapy Thursday. That was pretty sick. Same. I had two therapy sessions this week. <laughs> We're on double overtime. <laughs> My yeah. mental's about to explode. Shout out to Shireen. We're not quite in crisis mode, but pff, damn, two a week. It seems like it. Uh, I got to tell you, though, two week is good because we do a beginning of the week, end of the week. Yeah, a little bookmark. Next week, I just have a, I believe it's a Thursday sesh or a Wednesday sesh. But back in the office, we did face uh, FaceTime for the last couple. Again, I got nothing negative to say about therapy. Therapy is uh, what we call dummy busting. And I, I love told it. you. I told you. And my therapist, I told you before the buffs to therapy. You, you know, did, in the past you notes, you did. They buff therapy, and now well, you were you were in therapy. What for the start of the show? I'm pretty sure you were going. Absolutely. So now we've both. Exp are you ever going to go back? Or I if, or fucking need to. Yeah. I'm about to bust. I'm having a hard time lately, and maybe it's just because we do so much content. <laughs> You just I thought you were just gonna say I'm having a hard time lately. I am. Period. I am. Yeah, that's the end of the <laughs> sentence. But also to piggyback okay. and segue. I'm having a hard time lately leaving my issues of life at the door when I make content. In other words, like, yeah, we're doing a podcast and obviously on this show, our goal is to make people laugh, maybe teach you're, you're people something. You're calling it something. flip the switch. Flip the switch. So basically, even if I'm on like my worst day, I'll get to the podcast and I'll be fucking smiling, cracking jokes. Well, this can apply to anyone's job, really. So you yeah. got, it's like bringing your job home. The problem is though, our job, and I talked about this on my stream last night, it's one of the more difficult jobs to pretend like everything's fine <laughs> because I got to make people laugh it's and like shit. That, it's like that meme, you know, with the guy crying behind the mask. Yeah. Yeah. Like the clown. I feel like a fucking clown, you know? And, and this is the thing. We talked about this on the member episode, I'm pretty sure this week. If you have a job like behind a cubicle and you're fucking crunching numbers all day you At could the excel spreadsheet you could be sad and still get it done me if i show up to the podcast sad i'm just like you went to monarch without me shit, dude. Shit. and i do a good job at like flipping the script or flipping the switch like we always say but man i i feel like i feel sad today okay. i gotta be honest i'm not having the best day and i always wonder what's better do i tell the audience i'm feeling a little downtrod is it downtrodden? Downtrod? I, I hate downtrodden. that. Downtrodden. Downtrodden? Yeah. I feel like shit, right? So do I tell you guys I feel like <laughs> shit or do I pretend like I'm fucking good? Do I just pretend like I'm a certified lover boy? Yeah. Or do I so fucking tell you guys there's a cloud over my head and it's raining? It's it's waning, I mean, chat. that's up for you, but- uh, Well, I already fucking told them, yeah, so I, I mean, know. the cat's out of the bag, you know? I'll feel all right in a couple of days. This is what you do. After the podcast, you turn on some certified lover boy, get in your feels, mm. you know? I hope no one heard you that. You listen to Too Sexy featuring Future and just say, you know, I'm too sexy for this podcast. I'm too sexy for this. Bro, they just go on and on. Too sexy for this shirt. Yeah. Too sexy. Yo, you want to talk about like old school great songs? Remember the song? Ding da da, ding da da, ding da da, mm -hmm. dum 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 da da. Who's that? I have no fucking clue, but it slaps. And then remember, bad boys, I see you. Looking at me, I can tell in your eyes that you're feeling me. Yep. I don't really want you to get close to me. Slapper. And Who's then, that? of course, I, I, one, one, two, I think. That one I know. And then, of course, you got, hey, hey, baby. <laughs> oh, ha. I want to know. I don't know that one. If you'd be my girl. You know that song. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. You've never heard that? No. What about fucking- You got me on the first two, but the third one? It's in Madagascar, the next one that I want to say. How about this? If somebody in the comments can name every song that you just hummed- They get a virtual cookie? Yeah. All right, last one. They get a fucking biscuit. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, that's Madagascar. You bro. like to move it! <laughs> Remember that meme with the fucking hippo? 
Oh yeah, and she was just shaking her tail feather. But like, it's like, it's like, what was it? Big. It was like people would send it to each other and be like, "She likes you" or something. I don't recall. What the fuck is the hippo? hippo. The, the was her name Gloria? Gloria. <laughs> She's great, Gloria. I got you. I got you. Let's hear it. Hippo meme from Madagascar. Hippo meme. Was it a video? Yeah, I don't. I don't think you. Maybe you and like three friends did this. No, film. I don't think this was a mainstream no. thing. It was a thing. Where you just send the hippo to somebody? Yeah. You know, I I did see uh, a new movie actually. See? see. Moto Moto likes you. Moto Moto likes you. Yep. With the hip- oh, so that, that's not even the girl hippo. That's that's a different hippo, right? I guess so. Look at that. Well, the Moto Moto likes you. Isn't that a whole meme where it's like, I like them big. Yep. I like them chunky. Yep. Interesting. Here's what I'll say. So a new film. You know, I I actually subscribed to Hulu to watch this movie. I was getting a shitload of ads for it. Which movie? Vacation Friends with John Cena. I don't know that one. When I tell you, like, okay. John Cena's fucking funny. Hilarious. I don't know if you ever saw him in the, the Prom Dates movie or not not prom dates cock blockers cock block whatever the fuck it was called hilarious he was in that movie sisters briefly he was the drug dealer mm-hmm. he's like i got meth i got crack he's in fast nine is he at- oh yeah he's the villain right one of the villains so check this out this movie the basic premise is like you go on vacation they go to mexico they meet this couple they become vacation friends and then obviously when they get back home the one couple's like they're just vacation friends let's you know not worry yeah, about yeah. them and then they end up running into each other again and then shenanigans ensue obviously Bro, John Cena is so fucking funny. The job of a comedy, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck if the story's unbelievable, if outlandish shit happens. It's gotta make you laugh. If it makes me laugh, I'm in. Bro, there's a scene where they eat mushrooms. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but they get high as fuck on this wolf chasing scene. Like, they're in a forest with dogs, and their whole premise is to find a wolf. Not kill it, not do anything, just find a wolf. See one. And they end up getting, like, not (laughs) accidentally high. Or, yeah, on the hallucinogens of the mushroom. Dude, it was one of the funniest scenes I've ever seen in my life. I gotta watch Please. It. It's, what is it, $5 a month on Hulu? I got Hulu. Perfect. It's called Vacation Friends. You'll enjoy it. There was probably five moments where I, like, laughed out loud, had to pause and rewind. You know what's weird, though, about Hulu? Hulu has, like, a $6 a month tier, and then I'm pretty sure, like, a $14. At the sixth month, you get access to Hulu, but you have to watch ads still. Yeah. Like before the movie played, I got a two minute long ad and I go, if they think they're going to fucking show me ads throughout this entire movie, I'm going to fucking lose it. Luckily, it was only at the beginning, but still weird. How much is Netflix now a month? $38 a month? No, I think it's like 15 at the most. I thought it was like 64. I've had my card on Netflix for so long. I have no fucking idea. Netflix. Bro, last time they charged me, it was $600 a month. Fuck out of here, Phil. Bro, they always increase it. Netflix premium? Remember Netflix? It was like $8 a month, unlimited movies. Now it's like fucking... I guess you got to factor in for inflation and shit, but <laughs> inflation. what the hell? All right. So here we got the monthly costs. You have basic, you have standard, and you have premium. Is basic this, is $9. This is Netflix or Hulu? This is Netflix. All right. So basically, let's go, let's go across the list. We got the basic column. Number of screens you can watch at the same time. You only get one screen. Bro. Number of phones or tablets that you can have downloads on one device. Unlimited movies and TV shows. Good. Uh, oh, my God. They don't give you HD? <laughs> What the fuck? What is this? 2001? What? what? Hell? HD is not available with basic. Okay, then you got the standard. You get two screens, two devices to download, unlimited movies, HD. And then on premium, you get. It's actually. This is fucked. You only get four screens at once with premium, four devices where you can download, unlimited, but then you get the HD and the ultra HD. So basically, between $9 and $18. Double, 18 is the most? Yeah. Whoa. 18, you get the four I screens, told you the it's four downloads. Astronomical. Bro, for nine dollars though, half the price, you don't even get HD. That's like that's ludicrous to me that you can't get HD in 2021. Mm. Fuck you, Netflix. I think I have standard. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna count, come out with a competing streaming service. It's gonna be 99 cents a month. Yeah. Unlimited everything, HD everything. 99 cents! Yeah. Hey, you guys are going to make a prop? You just expect everyone to join? Sheer amount of numbers. <sighs> yeah, but you got you to gotta factor in one. No, 18 people for you is just one premium for Netflix. You're going to have to fucking. But you know what? They're you're going to have to 18 times They're not going to have anyone to fucking buy it by the time my streaming service comes around because everyone's going to be on the dollar plan. 
Disney Plus is a sick deal. How much is it? I'm pretty sure. When I first came out, I think it was $38 a month. I think it was $8 a month. Bro, see, they always start real low. Yeah, and to then get they, you. And then they fuck you in the ass in the next two months. <laughs> they fuck you right in the fucking ass. Yeah, they fist you pretty fucking hard. In the U.S., a monthly subscription for Disney Plus costs $8. Hmm. However, an annual membership is most cost effective at $80 for the year. It's almost 20% less. That's a sick deal. Disney. You know why? Because they got the big budget. You know what's fucked, though, with Disney? Let's hear it. When Black Widow came out, for example, yeah. It's eight dollars a month. Guess what? You're paying thirty dollars. Oh, to buy the movie. To buy to the fucking it? movie to watch it. Granted, once you buy it for the thirty, you can always you know watch it. What we it. say in Italian? Go fuck yourself. Vaffangul. Vaffangul. Let me tell you. Is that a fucking? Oh, I thought there was a spider on the wall. I almost tried that. <gasps> Bro. Attack mode. Guess what happened? What happened, Phil? You know how we talk on this podcast about killing bugs? You know, we got that clip on TikTok about what bugs won't you kill, Phil? And I said spiders. You said spiders. Bro, me and Wildy laying down. Ready to go to sleep. 10 p.m. bedtime. Nice and cozy. Mm -hmm. Turn off the lights. About a minute later, she you starts the screaming bloody murder. Turn the fucking lights on. I got bit. Something's in the bed. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Something's I'm like, in the bed. Abort mission. Bro. I ripped the fucking blankets off. I was like, there's nothing in the bed. I was expecting to see like a fucking Goliath Charantula. centipede. Sure enough, there was a fucking spider that was a little, little bit bigger. Than, than I was average. comfortable with. Yeah. 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 You know? <laughs> Bro, this thing was like <laughs> skidding oh. around the bed. Sure enough, it bit her twice. It Did fucking spider bit powers? her. Bro, so then I took a I had to. I thought we don't kill spiders no, around to. these parts. I had to listen. It took a piece of my girl. You know what? You fuck. You know what you do? You fuck that spider right in the listen, ass. Fuck I'm, that spider. I'm okay. I'm okay with spiders in my house. You know what the I want to do? you come to my bed and you're biting my, my wife. We're going to have some problems. You know what I would have did if it would have been my wife? What? I would have found the nest in the house. Yeah. I would have killed the whole fucking species. Send a message. I would have went up there. I wouldn't have done it kindly. I would have yeah. just sprayed or just hit them so it's fast. No. I would make them suffer. You know what I would do? I would put them do? in a jar. And what I would do, I would let in all the predators, giant centipede, just to start murdering motherfuckers. Mm. I'd do it crafty. You know what's a fuck thought? What? I'm sorry for all of our listeners here. When you go to sleep at night, you're vulnerable. You might sleep with your mouth open. Oh, how many spiders do you how lay many open animals, in your mouth? How many insects do you think in your lifetime have crawled into your mouth, your nose, your orifices, Phil? You how see, many, Phil? I'm not concerned about how many, but rather, what was the biggest? <gasps> you know? You know when you wake up sometimes, you're like, eh. <laughs> what if there's just a big fucking centipede uh, crawled in your mouth and went, <laughs> All the way down your We'd have some fucking all problems. the way down your trachea. I would rip out my own esophagus. I saw. I, I honestly don't even want to talk about this, and I'm not putting this on the screen, by the way, because I don't even want to look at it ever again. But it was, it was a puppy. I don't even know why. I guess this came With to ticks, my mind. You're talking about ticks. This came to my mind because I'm like grossed out right now, talking about the bugs in your mouth. It was a paw of a puppy, right? And they bent back the paw, like as if they were like squeezing a pimple. There were these like little maggot worms that were exiting the paw. <laughs> Phil, it was it was quite literally. I've never been more uncomfortable in my life. Like you know that that phobia where there's all the circle, all the yeah, dots, trypophobia. trypophobia. It was like that times a thousand because On the trend. it went three D, and these motherfuckers were crawling out. They of the had puppy. Netflix HD in there. Honestly, only look that up. I'm not even like fucking around. If you could really like handle that shit, because like it fucked up my week. Like I was on, I was not okay for a couple days after seeing that. And it popped up on my fucking for you page. Oh. I don't want to see it. TikTok, bro. I'll be scrolling on TikTok and I get hit with the most fucked up, disgusting, demented shit, bro. The, the, out of have nowhere. you been logged into the podcast TikTok? The for you page is fucked over there compromised i don't know if it's because we don't like anything yeah. i only like our own tiktoks and maybe that's how the for you page like deciphers what you like what you don't like dude i've seen some shit on that sunday sauce for you page mm. it's terrifying you know our tiktok zits about zits popping and i'm not talking about like zits popping i'm talking like this guy's about to die from infection zit popping. you know what i understand and i think we've talked about this before <sighs> those people that are on like dr pimple popper you know they get TLC shows written about them yeah, because they have a fucking colony of pus in their forehead. Uh, Do you wake up one morning 
and it's there, or does it build up over time? It has to build up, bro. And There's you just no don't way. see the doctor? Dude, I saw one where this guy's entire shoulder was like a blemish. And like he could make it move and shit. I'm like, at what point? You at know? what point do you go to the doctor and say, we got a we got a little bit of an issue? If I wake up with like a boil on my arm, a little one. I'm yeah, like, hey, pain. you know, I've never had that before. Let's Probably go get that should checked get it out. looked yeah. at, you know? <sighs> go to the fucking, fucking dermatologist at least. Which, by the way, around here in fucking Strong Island, the strongest island. The, str- <laughs> the strongest island there is. Yeah. It's impossible to get into the dermatologist. All these fucking doctors are eight times overbooked and you sit in the waiting room. Oh, yeah. Are you here for your appointment at 1.45 p.m.? Yeah, it's it's 4.16. You know, I got a wife and kids. So I got to get home. I got to have fucking dinner. I got It's a Sunday I gotta night. I got to get home for dinner. What are you doing? You know, we eat dinner at 2 p.m. on Sundays. Oh, yes. What yeah, the fuck? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, doctor's very busy today. He'll, he'll be right with you. Sitting in the smelly ass, fucking musty ass, dirty ass. Well, my waiting room. my my waiting room's pretty fucking pretty clean I'll with be the chairs with from 1986. What are you doing? And then there's always a sign, no texting in the lobby. What? You think I'm gonna sit here and not fucking text? There's no Wi-Fi <sighs> in the doctor's office ever. I think they do that on purpose so you don't fucking go. There's on no your phone. windows. You ever notice that? There's no fucking windows at any doctor's office. What's that about? It's creepy. There's no natural light. It's always that dim fucking orange light. Makes you feel like you're getting interrogated. You ever see those memes? Hey, can I see your dick and balls, please? <laughs> Call for me. At the dermatologist? No, <laughs> Have you ever seen those memes where uh, the doc, it'll say like, doctor, yeah, the x-ray is totally safe. Also doctor, and they just sprint out of the room to like push the button behind a barricade wall. Yep. But all I got is a lead blanket. You know, I think I need a little bit more precautions yep. here. What What is that doing to us? I don't, I don't know. See, everybody's worried about vaccines. Oh, the vaccine. What about the x-rays? Bro, did that you scares see, me, man. Did you see Joe Rogan? So what's all this? What, what's going on? He got COVID. And like, <laughs> why, why are we laughing? What's going on? He's so fucking dumb. What happened? Fill me in. Because I saw H3 was like ripping him apart. Okay. Right? I, I don't know the story Rogan. at all. <laughs> Let me see if I can find this clip. I did see his, uh, his Instagram uh, post where he was like, I got COVID. Felt like shit this for one? a day. Took an IV drip. All right, we're not listening to that boomer talk about Joe Rogan. <laughs> well, you just want to find the actual clip. The actual Joe clip. Basically, he gets COVID and he's like, listen, my buddies hooked me up with a cocktail of things. Okay. Yeah. And wasn't he, listed, he like, I got a morphine drip, an OD yeah, drip, a BB drip, everything. a CB drip. And he listed what he took, right? Now, here's the thing. He took prednisone, which is a steroid, steroid yep. that will make you feel invincible for a short period of time. <laughs> So he's like, yeah, you know, it got knocked out right out of my system. I feel great. It makes you horny. It makes you hungry. And it makes you fucking like strong as shit. All the greatest for things a in brief life. Period of time. Right. Uh-huh. And he's like, I took ivermectin, which is a horse dewormer. <laughs> right. And there's two types of ivermectin. There's one that's approved for humans and there's one that's approved for fucking horses. Okay. But like the thing with the one that's approved for humans is that. It will kill the virus if it's directly applied to it, but there's no way to directly apply ivermectin to like the human immune system. Otherwise, it like kills you, right? Okay. So he's going on about how, or he will go on to say that ivermectin fucking cleared his all his symptoms. Meanwhile, he's feeling like a champ because he's roided out of his fucking gills on prednisone and took antibodies that will actually work. So it muddies the water when you take a cocktail of shit and then say, oh, it's this that fixed it. Meanwhile, it's just like, you yeah, took- you d- no, because I did see like briefly his Instagram where he listed like no exaggeration, like 10 things that he took. Yeah. Vitamins, the prednisone, the fucking the, <laughs> the drips. O-N-N-I-T. Nutrition. I did some neck curls with a tire. Protein powder. So wait, is he, is he vaccinated? No. So he's not vaccinated? No. Okay. Last time I heard, no. Interesting. But he's, he's fine now after all the roids and, and drips. All right. So that's, <laughs> listen, you get COVID, yeah. call him Joey, Joey Baldhead. But it's just, it's just so like disconnected because nobody has resources to like that type of medical treatment. What are you talking about? We're not all billionaires after <laughs> we sold our podcast to Spotify? Yeah. What? What? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's, uh, that's something. It's something. Joe Rogan, definitely in the fucking title. <laughs> Thanks, Giuseppe. Oh. Wow, this is good. You know, we got fucking CLB or Donda. Oh, I got you. I'll hit you with another Joe one. Joe Rogan gets COVID. You Give us one about, more banger. You see about these fucking streamers moving to YouTube? Big streamers coming to YouTube. First, we got Dr. Disrespect, which happened a while ago, right? Okay. And now he's suing Twitch. Yeah. Because apparently he, he knows why he was terminated from Twitch now. 
but like nobody else knows why. Mm. But apparently now he knows why. And now we have Tim the Tap Man. Yep, that was a big one. Dr. Lupo. I was going to say another doctor. But there's a new challenger, challenger approaching. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Philion? No. What's that? Not, Jake Paul? Well, okay, this is not this is not confirmed or denied yet. Ben Ask? But yeah, it's Ben Ask you. No, it's Tyron Woodley. Oh shit. All right, bet. Bet, bet, bet. <laughs> no, so apparently Nick Merckx, you know Nick Merckx? Yeah. Joey just showed me a video of like a house, his first house versus the house he just bought like after his like rise to fame. It's it's insane. Man makes bread. Qua 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 Semolina bread. Qua, 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 qua. This man makes co-op. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I don't know if it's an exclusivity deal to Twitch or if it's to YouTube. It's looking like YouTube based on my third eye analysis. Mm -hmm. But he's like, boys, I just signed the biggest deal in my life. You know, this is not about me anymore. It's about my family and generational type Whoa, shit. I'm like, okay. all right, big dog. Look at the cock on this guy, huh? Look at the <laughs> fucking horse cock on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that guap, 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 and yeah. that horse cock, cock, cock. Yep. Sheesh. Yeah, so I think I think he's coming to YouTube. Probably. Watch him just be signed to, like, Hulu's new Remember streaming services. Remember when fucking Ninja went to Mixer, and then Mixer Ninja closed? Tyler Blevins. And he, and he made, like, $30 million or yeah, some shit. Yeah, and then shit. he got asked to come back to Twitch for another $30 million. Remember Twitch was, like, showing porn on his fucking page when it no longer yeah. was a channel? Yeah. Yo, Twitch is weird. They are a little suspect. A little weird. Don't fucking ban me. <laughs> Don't ban Phil. How how often are you going live these days? A couple times this week, right? Probably like four days a week. Got Look a at this guy. Badass Look at this here. guy. <laughs> no, I have my morning routine where I go live probably from like 9 a.m. to like 1 p.m. Nice. I just play Smash for four hours straight. Vinny, I made it to Elite Smash. Yeah, you told me. You were, you've been grinding it out. When I tell you there is not a game that makes me angrier than Smash... <laughs> Have you ever broken a controller out of rage? I'm really fucking close. I've, I've done it a couple because times. Because here's the thing. You grind to get a character into Elite Smash. Now, for anyone that doesn't play Smash, or maybe you do know this. Super Smash Bros, in case yeah, you guys ultimate, didn't Ultimate, okay? The most recent version. Absolutely. There's a portion of players called Elite Smashers, right? Mm -hmm. They invite you to get into Elite Smash when your roster GSP, which is like your... Your ranking. Your ranking yes. reaches 9.3 million, right? Hell yeah. But it's character specific. So I've gotten Ness into there, mm -hmm. right? So once you get in there, you know, you just face, a whole, you start to see why people are in there. Prestigious club. It's a prestigious club. You, you get people that are absolute <laughs> apex predators that will, you know, three stock you, kill you without taking damage. And then you get the fucking assholes that play Toon Link and sit in the back and just arrow boomerang yeah, bomb. Yeah, yeah. Arrow boomerang yeah, bomb. Yeah, yeah. Arrow boomerang bomb. Yeah. And you just have to block, get near them, and then you know what they do? Arrow boomerang bomb over and over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all he yeah. does. It's all he does. Yeah. I hate Toon Link. I hate it's all the links. So fucking annoying. At least the older link has a cooler. Yeah. 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 We're not the older. Well, you know, they're all tunes, yeah. right? They're all fucking tunes. They're all tunes. Toon characters, though. You know, Yu Gi Oh! You got the Toon world. I summon the tune, summon skull. That shit's hilarious. So like, are you still in elite or did you get knocked? I got knocked out. You suck. So now I'm trying to get other characters to smash because maybe, you know, I'll have a fucking fighter's chance <laughs> only to fight the same fucking characters over and over again. Where it's they the just same. Abuse it's the, the same mechanics. guy. It's, it's the same guy every time yeah. you're fighting. Or. Or they'll play the most dummy OP broken characters and just. You know what character I hate? The fucking beef. Beef uses him. DDD. DDD. That fucking Bro. penguin, though. And he fucking goes in the air. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I'm going to time it good. I'm going to hit him. Okay. Boosh. I've been trying to like learn him. He's, he's very fun. He's a nightmare to battle, man. But here's the thing you don't see him a lot in like pro level play because like if you know how to fight him, like you can take him down. Mm. You know who's really, really annoying to play against right now? The Hi new guy. Yuza. That's the new guy, right? Bro. Was that when he like he could change the way the battle looks right with his animations yeah. and shit? Crazy weird. Where he like chokes you out, slams you. Yeah, it's fucking, fucking shits on your chest, and then like I saw you. I saw that he shit on Bowser's chest, and Bowser went. Rrr! It was crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, like just like uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Just a little Cleveland steamer. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing about streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Let's hear it. You see, Twitch is kind of archaic in, like, updating things. Mm. No, I mean YouTube. Okay. YouTube. They don't have any gifted sub-features. 
gifted memberships. Here's the thing, though. With all these big creators coming to the platform. They're going to make it. They're going to start rolling shit out. Because here's the thing. <laughs> these creators are all used to a certain standard while they're streaming. Certain amount of features. Yeah. Gifted subs on Twitch is literally one of the biggest reasons why Twitch succeeds. You know, it's a great feature. Once we get gifted members... Are you going to stay on YouTube then? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Well, I've always, oh, I was always going to stay on YouTube. I was just going to also start supplementing by going on Twitch as well. But those gift, that gifted membership feature is going to be sick because it's a form of super chat, if you will, yeah. form of donation. But instead of just donating like a $20, you can give whatever it is, five people a membership. And then you're like a hero in the chat. It's the, gra- it's the greatest thing ever. And then those people then get the perks that they normally wouldn't have. You get people that, you know, have a fucking member train. Top it's just a win, gift. win, 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 win. Such a win. I hope that comes soon, man. That'd be awesome. What do you think about people that say that YouTube doesn't have the same UI as Twitch for like discoverability and, you know, organic growth? I go back and forth with this all the time. Like to me, growing. I don't think, I don't think there's a way to grow as a streamer. <laughs> it's very hard because on on YouTube, I, I was of the mantra or not the mantra. I was of the mentality that like Twitch was better for growth. At least for me, when I'm on Twitch navigating the UI, I'll go to like Mario 64, for example. Then I very cl- uh, quickly see all the Mario 64 streamers. I'll tap on one that looks interesting. I might become a fan, follow, subscribe, whatever. Right. YouTube has like their live tab, like underneath the gaming tab. And then there's like a base. I don't know the exact layout, but like it takes a while to get to like see the streamers. It, I don't, it was better in my opinion when it was like its own thing in YouTube gaming. I feel like they could very easily clean it up, though. You know how, you know how we were talking about how if I were to start my streaming service right at ninety nine cents, absolutely, and that for every one dollar someone gives me, they're given Netflix eighteen for the mm-hmm. premium. YouTube has two hundred users for every one Twitch user. It's huge. If YouTube makes the ecosystem, you know, streamlined and available for everyone. Twitch is going to have some problems. Well, see, YouTube is just, it's all VOD content, mostly. Like, I would i would be willing to bet that 99% of viewership on YouTube is not live stream content. True. Probably even less than that. If, it, if it's more, I'd be shocked, honestly. But, you know, it, it's weird, too, coming from a person that's literally gone live on YouTube every day for almost three years. It's, you know, it's not fully known for streaming. Right. But you have all these big behemoth creators coming over now, like Tim the Tapman. Dude, I saw his stream the other day had 100,000 concurrence. I don't know if that's a lot on for YouTube, him. 100,000 on that's YouTube. That's a lot. It's crazy. Normally, he has like 30,000, I'm pretty sure. Well, dude, he already had an established channel, right? How many? Three million subs over here? He's at four million. It's crazy. And now you're going to start streaming. And the crazy thing is they're getting contracts, right? So to it's stream like- stream on YouTube. So it's like, not only are you <laughs> making more money a. now- from being on YouTube. You got paid to come to YouTube. You got paid to come to YouTube. But they were oh, also my. on contract with, with Twitch too. The, yeah. These big dogs, they're making millions a year just from sh- just for showing up to work. On top of donations. I'm going to go cut my dick off. Listen, you'll get there, little squirt. All right, <laughs> little squirt. Don't worry about it. You're going to get there. Ah! You got this, Phil. Yeah, I know. No, I just, you know, streaming is very fun. I, I encourage people it's to my, try it. It's besides the podcast, it's my favorite format. Speaking of Tim the Tap Man, look at this man's sponsors, ready? He's got it. On his YouTube dashboard, you know, like the uh, the channel art. Let's hear. It. What do you call that? The banner. Yeah, the banner. Of course. On Tim the Tatman's banner, you got Herman Miller, which you know Herman Miller. No. They are the best ergonomic chairs money can buy. Okay. They are like they're like thousand dollar chairs. All right. It's a pretty fucking sick sponsorship. Pretty fucking nifty, dude. Ultra Gear. Don't know what that is. Chipotle. You sponsored by Chipotle. Imagine having a Chipotle sponsorship. Jesus Christ. Hyper X and Discord. How are you sponsored by Discord? A lot of people are actually. Are you serious? I think that's actually the easiest one on there. You just apply for like a Discord partnership. What do you get? Nitro for free. I'm serious. Like you get like that unlock okay. ability to like Why don't I, send shit. Okay. You get a fucking. A fat check every you month. probably get a fat check every <laughs> month. Well, if you're him, he's definitely getting a dummy fat check. A dummy fat Bro, check. Four million people show up. They go, what's Discord? They download it. They're talking to their homies. I'm in the Discord chat with my homies. You know? Tim the Tat Man. So does he actually tap dance, though? No, Tat. Oh, it's Tat Man? Tattoo. I've been calling him Tim the Tap Man my entire <laughs> fucking career. I'm not even joking. <laughs> the Tap Dancer? He's Tim the Tat Man. That makes Ta- way tattoos. more sense. He's got tattoos. Yes. Pretty sure he has a Levi tattoo from 
I'm on the I'm on the bees and the eagles. Wait. AOT. Is it because he's a tattoo artist or he just has tattoos? Uh, I thought he was Tim the Tat Man, so I don't. I have no <laughs> fucking idea. Tim the Tat Man. I thought he was showing up the streams. What's up, guys? Just tapping away. Little tap, tap, taparoo. Are you looking up why is Tim the Tat Man? Sorry. Tim the Tat Man. Tim the Tat Man. Yep. Sheesh. Why is Tim the Tat Man called that? <laughs> okay. Pretty good, Google. How did Tim the Tatman get his name? Just curious. Tatman isn't his last name and doesn't seem to mean anything. <laughs> it means tattoos. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that he had a teacher in high school, maybe that the calling attendance, and we called Tim. He saw he had tattoos and he called him Tim the Tatman. It was in college, but yeah. Am I the only one that thought it was Tap Man? I can't be. I, there's no fucking shot, Jimmy Johns, Jimmy Johns. I'm the only fucking one. You might be the only person in the universe to think that. You say I'm crazy. Like, I don't think I know what you've done. I know I'm not the only one. What are you looking forward to? In life? Right now. Af like, after this? After, like, right now. Taking a fat fucking nap. Really? Oh, yeah. Bro, I took a nap the other day. You know what I hate when you're napping? You're having great sleep. You know, you just hit that REM cycle. Mm. And somebody starts calling your name. Does that ever happen to you? Yeah. Yeah, and, like, it's half in your dream. And you wake up, you're like, oh, what the fuck? Does that ever happen? Kind of. I've experienced way more the type of sleep, which this might be REM, REM as we call it. Yeah. Where you wake up, but you're still kind of falling back into sleep and you can literally like fall back into your dream. You know those? We've talked about this before. Yeah. Where like you're having a great dream and you wake up briefly, you take a piss, you come back to bed, you try to stay tired. So like you get to the bathroom, you whip your dick out and you're like, <laughs> I was waiting for you to look at me. And you start peeing, right? And yeah. then you get back to bed and you're like, oh no, I'm still sleeping. And then you fall back in a dream world. Those are dummy busting. Hmm. But yeah, I'll probably take a nap. It's still very early today. We recorded this at a solid time for Saturday. Maybe I'll listen to some cert. Well, I have to get my homework done. Donda, Certified Lover Boy by Wednesday. You know what's wild though? That's three hours worth of music. It's a lot of fucking tracks. What the fuck? Cut out the bullshit. Make eight good songs. I'll tackle Donda tonight. CLB tomorrow and the next day. Bro, like, here's what I'm realizing as a content creator. Okay? A content fucking creator. Content fucking creator. Cut the nonsense. Mm. Trim the fat. You know, when you get a piece of prosciutto and it's all fucking white and marbly. I don't want that. I remember uh, Logan Paul's editor would always say, you got to kill your darlings. Yeah. Even the thing that you think is a beautiful piece Cut of art. Out. If it's overshadowed slice. or it doesn't quite fit. Slice it up. Slice it up like Barry the Butcher. Yep. No, I'm serious. So am I. Like, it's hard to do it, though. It's hard to be objective and say, listen, this is better than that, or that's better than this. Uh, if you listen to Certified Lover Boy and Donda, you're going to be like, oh, that was definitely shitty. Uh, let's cut it out of the album. So should I come to the table on Wednesday with a list of the songs I would have kept yeah. and the songs I would just Try to narrow it destroy? down to, to eight Seven songs. tracks? Yeah, seven tracks. Kanye did that like years ago. The Ye album, I believe, is only seven songs. Smart. And then Pusha T's album, only seven. Kid Cudi and Connie's album, the two of them together, seven. It's a ghost. And you know what? Fantano, not that his opinion matters. 10 but out of 10 for that. 10 album. out of 10. It's, interesting. it's an interesting thing to think about. Like, what would we slice out? What would we keep? You know? You know what time it is, Phil? It's grandmother of the fucking it's week. Grandmother of the week time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is submitted by Connor Landis, who said, hey, Vinny and Phil, this is my grandmother, Diane. We call her Nana. She's a wonderful person and loves to cook meals for all of everyone. She even has a special spaghetti sauce recipe that she uses herself and has passed it down for several generations, several generations. Wow. Still. We all love her very much and she continues to love and support us every day. I hope that was a good enough summary and not drawn out. I'm on the left corner, by the way. Thanks, guys. Love you both and the show. Absolutely. When I tell you that was the perfect submission. What, are we, what were we just talking perfect. about? Trim the fat. Trim Kill the your fat. darlings. Send in something that is short, sweet, to the point, but here's the thing. Sometimes you have like a masterpiece album. You know, an opus. Where everything is a banger. Yeah. The Marshall Mathers LP. Okay. The Eminem show. Okay. <laughs> Graduation from Kanye. Yep. I would also say college dropout. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Jay-Z's The Black Album. What else would I put in there? Lil Wayne's The Carter Three. Mm -hmm. These are all, th Yeezus, honestly, yep. I wouldn't take a thing off Yeezus either. No. And Yeezus, when it first came out, was, at least in my opinion, very fucking jarring. 
It was like boop beep doop doop I am a god. Yep. Boop beep. These fucking shoes all on your sofa. Boop beep boop. Ten but songs. It's ten songs. You got bound to. I am a god. Black skin. Blood on the blood on the leaves, bro. On sight. New slaves. Oh, new slaves is crazy. That bro. beat, dude, 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 dude. Bro, it's dude, all dude. it's just all about trimming the fat. Another thing that people are saying about Donda, my buddy Asteroid, friend of the show, friend of our lives. Absolutely. Frank said, it sounds like they made this album in Garage Band. Kind of. And I was like, well, he did do most of the album, if not the finishing touches, in the fucking on Garage Band <laughs> stadium, in the closet, in the stadium. Like, why didn't you just go to a studio and wrap it up, yay? See, there's a lot, there's a lot of valid criticism. And when you do your homework, we're going to see. And ladies and gentlemen, we will be back on Wednesday for the member episode. We're very close to 500 members, by the way. Yeah. If you spend $4.99 a month, you get bonus content. That's cheaper than Netflix, Disney Plus, and let me tell Hulu, you, all of it. And you get four pieces of content every month in addition to what you already get. We've been doing that for 20 weeks already. So if you spend $5 today, e Phil. That's 20 episodes. You get 20 hours of us extra that you've never even seen before. Way more raunchy, by you the way. You get more than 20% of this show. That's scary to think about. Unlimited access, $5 a month, baby. Hey, we fucking love you guys. Phil, any final words? Say hello to your grandmother for me. Thank you guys for watching. Share this fucking podcast with your friends, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>